This is Sean. Welcome to my kitchen. Tonight we're going to be doing something very simple since this is my first time doing it and we're going to be doing fried eggplant. But first we need a drink because you can never have enough drinks when you're cooking. Just ask any great chef. Vodka and soda. I get this vodka because it's cheap and I go through a lot of it. When you're opening soda, open it just a little so all the bubbles slowly come up. And we don't get it all over the computer. Squeeze the lime, of course. And we're golden. Cheers. All right, first thing we're gonna do, get us an eggplant. Here's one now. I grew this one in my garden. Great thing about having a garden is you can always have vegetables, at least when they're in season. Then a little Chinese eggplant that fell off. This one's a black beauty. Grows off of a big black beauty bush. Get her a nice big knife. You can never have a big enough knife. Put the top off. And we're gonna look for our vegetable peeler. Here it is now. Peel. Well, it's nice to have a trash can. Okay, that was a bit of a pain in the butt. I don't know why, but the vegetable peeler didn't want to peel. Next on the agenda, take our nice, big, deadly, sharp knife, slice our eggplant lengthwise. Tonight, I'm going to be cutting them lengthwise, making long eggplant sticks, because it's kind of an irregularly shaped eggplant, so I'm not going to get nice discs out of it. You know, the round deal is discs, like a frisbee. You know how frisbees got their name? The dude that invented it was named Frisbee. What do you know? There we go. That was easy enough, right? Okay, next thing we do, egg wash. No, nope, sorry. This is the next thing we do. Ooh, how do you make a wash with eggs? It's easy. Eggs. Bowl. We'll get a bigger bowl than that. Bigger bowl. And yet another bigger bowl. You're going to do an egg wash. All you need to do, get yourself a couple of eggs. I don't care. I like brown eggs, but they didn't have any, so I have white eggs. Eggs. A little bit of milk. Don't really care how much. I usually use a little less milk than I have eggs. Get your fork. Stir it up. There's your egg wash. Not that fancy, huh? Now, some chefs say milk and eggs don't go together. I say bullshit. They go together just fine. So we're going to take our egg, our eggplant, put it in the egg wash. Make sure everything gets coated. Just toss it around with your hands. Your hands are clean, right? Please tell me your hands are clean. God, please let your hands be clean. Of course, now they're full of egg. Breadcrumbs. I like progresso Italian seasoned breadcrumbs for this particular project. Put those in your bigger bowl. Because you're gonna need your bigger bowl. Put your milk away, you're done with it. I mean, unless you wanna drink milk, whatever. Yeah, I'll bring it. All right, we got our eggs washed over our eggplant. Throw them in your bigger bowl with the breadcrumbs. Notice my wet hand. My dry hand. Dry hand flips the dry breadcrumbs onto the wet eggplant. The wet hand puts more eggplant in the egg wash for later. Because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten in God knows how long. I think it's been about 36 hours since I've eaten anything. Can't tell, can you? That's a nicely coated eggplant stick. You can double do it if you want. Double coat them. Just take them. Once you've done breading them, put them back in the egg wash, bread them again. 
Easy peasy. I'm not going to, just because I don't feel like it. Fun thing is, I forgot to put my uh, oil in the pan. Ooh, and I have a text message. Twitter, mm, whatever. Oil going into the pan. Now, if you have a deep fryer, that's even better. I do not have a deep fryer. So I just have to make do. Get that sucker hot. Preferably get the crumbs off of the stove because you don't want burned bread crumbs all over the place. This is for demonstration purposes only. So there you go. Now, while we're waiting for the bread to heat up, what would you like to talk about? That's a great topic. Discuss. All right, I seem to be empty on my drink. So you know what that means. Refill. I'm out of lines. There's one now. Oh my God, are you using the same knife to cut the lime as you did the eggplant? Yes. I'll get over it, believe me. Like your mommy used to say, it's all going to the same place. You know, she used to say that, but it never impressed me because I didn't really want to get my this mixed up with that. It just seemed gross on the plate. Of course, it's even grosser when you throw it up and it really does all go from the same place to the same place all together. Ugh. Hi. The dog wants to say hi. There he is. Where was I? Oh! Total water. I could probably throw away this top. Oh, Ow, it's spiky. Why do vegetables have to have thorns? That's like a pain. Oh look, here's another different kind of eggplant. I was working in my garden and it fell off the bush. That's a Chinese eggplant. Let's fry that up too, see what happens. That's what the inside of an eggplant looks like. Whee! How do you know when it's heated up? Take a little glob of breadcrumb, drop it in the oil. It's not quite frying yet. Oh, that's a whole nother view now, isn't it? Take another little glob of bread. It's kind of frying up now. This is the dangerous part. You don't want to get hot oil all over you. Let's gently put it in there. Careful. Careful! Ow! Like, just like that. Fuck! That hurt. Alright, now we're frying nicely. Add it on high to heat the oil up. Turn it on, turn it down a little bit. And have a swig while we wait. So that's what it's gonna look like. Let's take a look. Frying stuff. Well, fry the eggplant until it gets to a lovely golden brown. It's my Judy Child voice. Never cook with any wine you wouldn't drink yourself. If you burn yourself, that's why God gave us the fire department and the paramedics. If you do burn yourself, don't put butter on it. Because that's just dumb. All you It's like you're frying yourself. Why would you do that? Butter. I mean, I'm sure you'd be tasty. But don't put it on a burn. Unless you, you know, like you're into cannibalism or something. Oh, my face is really dark. It's because the light ends right here. Oh look! Oh crap! Now this is my wet hand. You remember those other weird eggplants that we chopped up? Egg wash, stir, or you know, flip or whatever. Uh, oh, sorry. Not really. Put that in the breadcrumbs too. All right, flip them around the blood. Blood. These things. Breadcrumbs. <sighs> Breadcrumbs aren't really sticking to the skin really well, but they're sort of sticking to the skin. So we'll take what we can get. You know, 
kind of like sex. Take what you can get. Or find somebody that's had too many of these. I have a coaster. Wow, where did that come from? All right. My eggplant's almost done frying, eggplanting, whatever it is it's doing. Get a plate. Drop everything. Like I said, if you have a deep fryer, I'm sure it's got one of those baskets that lifts out all fancy schmancy and you can let it drain like you work at McDonald's or somewhere. I do not work at McDonald's. We're getting golden brown. I'm flipping them just one more time to get a little less brown and maybe a little more gold. Well, you can't do that because once you're brown, you can't go back to gold. It's a one-way street trip. Street. One-way trip down a one-way street. Sometimes going the wrong way. How do you know when your eggplant are done? Well, we have the golden brown factor. Okay, we'll go with that. Plus, when it looks like it's not really bubbling a whole lot, let me show you. Because this is exciting. Okay, it's not bubbling as much as before. That's when you can tell that it's done because we've sort of fried off all the water. And now we're just cooking, I don't know, eggplant. Well, obviously we're cooking eggplant. All right, I'm gonna put the next batch in and wrap it up. Now, what do we do with this eggplant that we've already done? First, we need salt. Yes, kosher salt. Even if I'm not Jewish, because that stuff is damn good. If you have high blood pressure, I don't care. Oh, good. Yum.